All right, folks, Mike here with the watch list video for Wednesday, July 3rd. Now, quick reminder, the market closes at 1 tomorrow um, on Wednesday, and then it's closed all day on Thursday. Friday's probably going to be pretty dead, too, right? Sandwiched between a holiday and a weekend. So um, having said that, I thought we did a good job today of finding stuff to trade, um, you know, during the slow holiday week, right? Um, I made a video. I, I'm I'm determined to make a video every day at lunchtime on some of the morning about some of the morning calls to uh, explain, especially to newer members, the reason for the calls. I don't I, I don't ever want to be a room where someone says, "Hey, I like X Y Z over 1250," right? And then people blindly pile in. That's not what we want at all. We want everyone to understand the setups. It's really important. And after a while, even the newer folks, you're going to start spotting them and calling them for other people yourself right so um, that's really important never never blindly follow anyone i'll tell you um be the first one to tell you i'm wrong a lot right so uh, money management risk management all that uh is is crucial um and so just never want to blindly follow anyone and the more you watch those videos the more you'll understand the reasons for the call right so if i'm looking at what i call stacked cats or stacked catalysts and I, I get the trigger price, say it breaks an inflection point and I've got two or three catalysts stacked above and it doesn't take those out within a few minutes, uh, you know, you know, start rethinking the trade. So it's really important to understand um, why we do what we do. All right, so uh, starting off as I always do with the SPY, uh, we're kind of, we had a nice run here and we're kind of straight sideways summer trading, um, very low volume, but suffice it to say, we're hanging out near all time highs. Let me throw this up here. Newer members, please pause the video and read this. It's important so you understand what we're all about, all right? Um, and then I, again, today's video I made on Tesla, which uh, over the mic, I gave the break of 221.50 idea. I guess I can put the daily chart up while I'm babbling about it. Um, and there's a huge breakout today. So the idea was over 221.50 with the pre-market high was 223 even. It was acting real well, real well around half numbers and whole numbers um so check out that video and i also covered a pre-market trade i believe in that same video um little kind of obscure stuff from the room that's not really uh, uh hey I, here's a trigger here's a stop um so more of a subtle idea i mentioned uh rivian rivn intraday cup and handle so this was the opening candle right here that's where it peaked and you kind of have the cup and the handle right there i know some people took it because i got some thank yous the idea on a cup and handle is the break above the handle, which would have been right about where my cursor is, knowing that the high of day is a very nearby catalyst. Keep in mind, cup and handle, a lot of people don't really understand the setup or even what it looks like. Um, you want to take the break of the handle because you still have the earlier high above. You want that catalyst above um, to give you some momentum, right, if broken. So that's why a, real, a, a pure cup and handle, the handle will be below the earlier high, not it won't be a cup and a handle up here above the earlier high. So if you care, anyway, that's kind of a subtle post that I made. Um, and another thing that uh, I didn't talk about earlier, but uh, I think Terrence gave the, just the 280 break on Poet, P-O-E-T, right? Um, he had the earlier high right there, 281 or something, and yesterday's high, 294 or something. Like he gave the stat, he, Terrence is so good at posting other catalysts above. I, you know what, I may have it here. There it is, this is worth showing, in my opinion. Um, the way he posts stuff, this, is a, this would be like a lesson for anyone who really wants to post a thorough idea. Poet, later in the day, over 280, the PM high was 284, yesterday's high was 294, and April 30th open was 306. So there's a perfect example of a, a, a setup having stacked catalysts and Terrence pointing them out in his idea. I love that so much. Um, and what else? Uh, da, 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 da. Well, yeah, I didn't talk about this one in the video either. SYT. All right, so um, it, it topped out at three back here. Kevin P pointed that out. And then it kind of just meandered right below three for five hours or so. Several people in the room stayed on this. I like kept posting, hey, it's getting back near three. Hey, it's getting back near three. And you see what happens. This is why you guys were watching it, right? It broke three, went to 385. Yes, it did this, but if you're a day trader and you get long at three, if you're not selling into that nice pop that you've been waiting on all day, you're doing it wrong. Um, so I loved the teamwork on that one. I didn't get involved in that one. Um, I don't even know if I was in front of my screens when it triggered. 
but uh, just another good example of the teamwork in there. Um, and I've babbled long enough. Let me get to what we're going to watch tomorrow. And I'll try to be brief on this. Keep in mind, half day tomorrow. I don't have a lot of hope, but I will be in there in pre-market. Uh, pre-market has been actually pretty good to me, so I'll be watching in pre-market. Um, RDZN, massive volume, over 100 million shares. Nice pop. We definitely want to watch that one tomorrow. ANVS had a huge run today. Closed way off its highs, but I got to watch that one. I'm a day trader. CORZ had this nice pop, and you're kind of flagging now. You got a picture of the flag there. Pretty interesting setup. UP. Um, big volume closing off its highs, but we want to watch that one tomorrow. SYT, I talked about this one that Kevin P and several others were on. It did close above three. Certainly worth watching tomorrow for a follow through day. OPTT is at it again. Gapped up today. Big pop. Um, as I'm talking to you, by the way, after hours, it's trading at like 60 cents. So we'll see what that one, if it gives a setup tomorrow. IFBD, I'm not in love with this one, but let me zoom in a little bit. You can see the extra volume, but it closed well off its highs. I don't know. I don't know if it deserves to be on the list, but I'm putting it on there anyway because, you know, it's summer. Uh, Rivian, R-I-V-N. Um, you know what? I'm going to pull this one off. It, it's curling up. It's doing okay, but I don't know. I wouldn't talk you out of having that one on watch. I'm trying to pare the list down a little bit. Um, and after hours, they announced something like their, their uh, deal with Volkswagen. They're not interested. And, and don't quote me on this. Always double check because I thought I heard it, but I could be wrong. Uh, they're not interested in actually a production type merger with Volkswagen. Um, and that hit the stock a little bit in after hours. Didn't kill. It's only, it's at 1468 right now. It's just holding up pretty well. Um, again, I wouldn't, I'll have it on a chart, but I'm going to pull it off the list. I don't, I, I don't know why. I probably shouldn't. Um, Let's see, IFBD, I covered PSNY, uh, just put in kind of, a, it's holding up pretty well. And you never know, sometimes the whole number one dollar can act um, as a nice catalyst. So I'm gonna keep my eyes on that one. Uh, DXYZ, I gotta zoom in for this one so you can see. There is a nice, and keep in mind, the, the, the day before it closed at like 1078. So for, in two sessions from 1078, it went to uh, 1829 so even though when you pan out it doesn't look like much this was a huge move then you had a couple red days and today it seemed to find support at the 8 and 20 day although it closed well off its highs um, again it's summer things are slow so I'm kind of reaching for things to keep on watching uh, you know that one could do something for us RDTT reddit um, looks like all-time highs is 7490 and it's trying to get there now maybe uh, we get a stacked catalyst scenario on that one tomorrow LUNR I'm already almost eight minutes into the video. Um, nice pop back here, rolled back over, and then today topped out at the whole number four. You know that you know why that interests me, so we're gonna watch that one maybe through four tomorrow. GOVX, recent runner, putting it on bounce watch. It's pulled back for a few days. Chewy, putting it on bounce watch. Um, and then MLGO, putting it on bounce watch. Four red days in a row, and down here into that area between the eight and the 20 day. That's it, we'll work together in the pre-market, maybe catch some trades tomorrow in pre-market, and. We'll also add more gappers to the list. All right, I'm done babbling. We'll see you in chat.